This video was made not last Wednesday, not the Wednesday before that Wednesday, but the Wednesday before that Wednesday. So it was made three Wednesdays ago, and I'm sorry it's coming out so late. I promised it so many times. I've, I've just been lazy, and then I've forgotten all about it. But here it is, okay? How to make a chocolate cheesecake. Enjoy. Hey guys, <laughs> I just finished, uh, I just came home from school, finished that stupid exam stuff, um, it didn't really go that well, I passed, only just, but I passed, okay, I don't care, it's over, I ain't got no exam, till next Wednesday. I had all kinds of plans for this intro, and now I'm just freaking lost. Anyway, one done, four to go. It's time to make a cheesecake. So let's do it. By the way, I'll be doing a voiceover. This is so weird, but let's just roll with it. I'll be doing a voiceover for all the footage that I get because this bad boy's freaking mic or sound or whatever is terrible. Sometimes you can hear me, sometimes you can't, so I might as well do a voiceover version, okay? Okay. Chocolate cheesecake time. Let's go! Hello, I am waving showing you the stuff I'll be using for the cake, chocolate. If you didn't already guess that, this is the cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese you have. That's a creme fraiche, cafeteria fraiche. Uh, vanilla sugar. Cookies for the bottom. Chocolate cookies and uh, butter. Removing the hair there. I was just looking at it. Uh, that's sugar, I think. That's cocoa. How about the flour? Oh wait, it's a cheesecake. Never mind. That's pretty stupid, I guess. Do you even need that? You need a bowl. That's a bowl. And this is the book from which I got the recipe. Chocolate cake. And a creepy smile in slow-mo. Now, you need to turn the oven up to... Uh, uh, what? 180. Okay. Yeah. Now you turn on a weight with the bowl on so it goes to zero grams and then you add butter. You want about 110 grams or 15. Whatever. Details. They're not that important. Now you add it uh, in a whatever, and then you make it, uh, you melt the butter. That's what it's called. For some reason I like the smell. You smack the camera, did you see it? Anyway, you add the chocolate uh, cookies in a plastic bag, and you just start smacking them. But it kind of hurts with your hand, and it doesn't really, it's not very effective. So I stopped quite quickly and found a hammer. This hammer is pretty stupid, it's got those spikes in the end, so it actually broke the... It, of course it broke the plastic bag, I learned that pretty quickly, so I... I put it in another bag. Anyway, there's the melted butter. You want to add the cookies. That's really difficult to do with one hand. I don't know why I filmed it. And I think I'm stopping after this stupid angle. Great filming. Oh yeah, you want to add cinnamon. As you can see, I I poured the cookie stuff, the crushed cookies, in the uh, thing that I can't remember what's called, the stove. And then you add a bunch of cinnamon. It tastes really well. And then you can add a bit of coffee. That's what the recipe tells you to. You don't have to. Uh, it's not like you can even taste it. But, yeah. Add some coffee. Because coffee is good. Coffee is life. You want to keep it on a low heat, 
so it doesn't burn. Yeah, we get it. And then you just start mixing, which, once again, is hard with one hand. Um, yeah, we... The high point. <laughs> we get it. You just add it there. And skip. There you go. And once again, skip. And, and now we want it to... And, and we want it in there. And you read skip. <laughs> so you just crush it down and you try and uh, get it up the sides as well as you can. It's really difficult, trust me. As you can see, there's a, a bunch of big cookie pieces. You want that. That's really good. Uh, that's the cheese. And you want to make room. Things are going quick, I know. And then a bowl. And you add the cheese to the bowl. Yeah. Philadelphia. You add both of them and then you start mixing with a hand mixer or whatever. Once again, that was difficult with one hand. And you don't need to you, you only need to give it like 30 seconds or a minute. It's not really it doesn't need a lot of time. Just mix it a bit. I don't even get the purpose of this, but sure, why not? Then you want to what now? It's mixed. Okay. You need to add two eggs. Then you need to add some sugar, I think. I don't know how much. Then you need to add, I guess, one spoon of cocoa. I add more because I like cocoa. And of course, we want to add some more. Derp. You can see the, the ingredients and the, all the... Oh, don't do that. I seriously don't do that. It's not good. It looks yummy. It's not good. Um, and you want about a teaspoon of vanilla sugar, or just fucking vanilla, and a little bit of coffee here too, if you want to. But you can see how much you need of each in the description. The recipe is down there. So now you start mixing it. I don't know if I added sugar. I think I did. You can see it in the description. Anyway, when you've mixed it, you taste it. Because you're fat, like me. And then you find out, oh my god, it's yummy. Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> now you need about 50 or 45 grams of butter, which you once again melt for... Uh, oh yeah, for the the cheese. And then you want to add creme fraiche, which you smell because it's been in the fridge for a while. And then, yeah, okay, it, it smells quite alright. And um, you want about 250 grams of that. You add this, and... You know, if you have 300 grams or 250 or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Now you add, of course, the butter you melted. Yeah, doing it like a pro. Um, and you just quickly clean the stove. Is it a stove? I can't remember. Pot. No. Is that a... No. Um, and then you use it again with water in for a new purpose. Yeah, because we're being smart. You just want about middle heat. Not too much, not too low. Then you find something that can handle hot water, like this thing right here, and you put it in. And for what purpose? Well, it's to melt the chocolate. So now you add the chocolate in a lot of pieces and it's just starting to melt. And that is how you melt chocolate. If you got other ways such as the microwave you can do that. But I am doing it this way. Then you want to save some chocolate pieces and add directly in the cheese stuff. It tastes so yummy. I swear to God. When you get one of those chocolate pieces, 
That is, that is the best. So you add the chocolate, the melted chocolate, then you just start mixing with all the rest of the ingredients. And um, yeah, and then you get something on your clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. The great footage. Then you clean these after, of course, you've licked them to taste the mix. And then you add it on top of this. Skip. Uh, try and flatten it out as much as you can. It's, it's I mean, it, it's gonna get flat when it's inside the oven. And it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just so it looks good, I guess. We don't really care how it looks. It's all about how it tastes. 180 degrees Celsius. You heat it up for, I think it's half an hour. You can see it once again in the description. Nom nom nom. Cake, 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 cake. Yelling for cake as we're running down the stairs, almost falling. But no, I made it. it Would have been great footage though. Then we go to the oven and we look at the cake. Then we get the oven mitts, which they're called, right? Oven mitts? And you want, of course, you want something to put the hot uh, thing on. Yeah. And now you pull out the cake. Now, as you can see right here, the cake is a bit wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. It's meant to be like this. Don't get scared like I did. I thought I fucked up. I thought maybe I didn't give it enough. Maybe I messed up. But you're giving it uh, some hours in the fridge. And I just dropped the oven mitt. But um, don't worry if it's wobbly wobbly. It's, yeah. It's meant to be like that. It's going to get okay when it's been inside the fridge. Then you poke it for no reason. And um... Now, it's time to make room in the fridge with my face or stuff. <laughs> this is such a great voiceover. If you haven't, f yeah, I'm, I'm measuring with my hands how big the uh, cake thing is so I know if there's room and it worked. We calculated that there's enough room anyway I guess you've already figured that this is just a one take voiceover um, so I've not really planned what to say I'm just kind of going along yay <laughs> room and uh, now you go get the cake no cake hello Dane that insane Dane? You... <laughs> Hello? What's going on? Uh, bring the... Oh, there we go. Put in the cake. And, um... You make sure it doesn't touch anything so it starts melting or burning stuff. Because it's still pretty hot. Even though the form thing gets cold pretty easily. And pretty quickly. And that's me, as very young, doing something with pearls, I think. Close up of my face, and uh, that's... No, it's not my dad, it's some random creep on my fridge, who is a, a, a magnet, and London, and London, and... Uh, uh, Barcelona, Italy, Colosseum, and now we're done. Here is the cheesecake. And of course, if you haven't figured it out, you eat it. And you think, oh my god, this cheesecake is fucking good. And this is the point where I thank you so much for watching and tell you that the recipe is in the description. So check it out and make your own cheesecake. It's so fucking good, I swear to god. Anyway, thank you a bunch for watching. I really appreciate it. 
I appreciate all the support, all the likes. This was basically a 2,000 sub special. Um, I said I was going to make a cheesecake. Someone asked for me to make a video of it. And here it is. Really late, but it's here. How to make a cheesecake. But I swear to God, it's really good. Yeah. I can cook. <laughs> I mean, it tasted well, so yeah. Uh, uh, stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. I love you. Bye.